further classify Streptococcus or Enterococcus bacteria, if you remember these are the bacteria that were gram positive staining coccus and negative on their catalase test, we'll perform a blood auger hemolysis test. This is where you plate the organism on a mammalian blood auger plate. If this test turns up alpha, which means that there's a partial lysine of the organism and it'll appear green on the auger, here in the red, you'll then need to perform an optogen test. Optogen is an antibiotic that you'll add to your organism on the plate. If this test shows that the organism is sensitive to the optogen, you'll know you're dealing with Streptococcus pneumoniae. Streptococcus pneumoniae is commonly known for pneumonal infections. If the organism is not sensitive to the antibiotic, optogen, you'll then know that you're dealing with Enterococcus bacteria, which we'll get to later. Back to our hemolysis test. If instead of an alpha test, we're shown with a beta test, this indicates a complete lysis of the organism, and you'll see this visibly with the green organism that has a white capsule, denoted by this picture. You'll then need to perform a bacitracin test. Bacitracin test is an antibiotic just like optogen. If the organism is sensitive to the bacitracin, you're dealing with Streptococcus pyogenes. Streptococcus pyogenes is known for its severe and invasive infections that occur more than 700 million times a year. If your organism is not sensitive to the bacitracin, you know that you're dealing with Streptococcus agalactiae. Streptococcus agalactiae is known very well for its neonatal septicemia, which causes neonatal pneumonia and meningitis. Lastly, if you have a gamma result on your hemolysis test, you know that you're dealing with an organism that is not lysine, and it will appear with a faint light blue color on your plate. You'll now know that you're dealing with an enterococcus bacteria that is common in UTIs, endocarditis, and meningitis.